guys, it's Kristen from Brad Pond. So today I'm gonna be doing a demo with a banana. <laughs> um, I wanted to show my technique on how I do like a very simple, pixelated, airy, ombre brow. But it only takes me about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes for the total appointment, including paperwork, including numbing, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to be doing the demo on the banana for one eyebrow. Uh, the reason I'm using the banana, I love how uh, I love how the needle glides into the skin because it's really smooth, which is similar to an eyebrow, as opposed to the classic latex skin, which I feel is honestly a little bit rough, and it doesn't give the same feel as uh, working on the skin. So the whole point of this video is trying to mimic what it would really be like in person. So what do you need? A banana, some ink. I'm gonna be using Permablend Darkest Brown. A little drawing pencil just so I can draw a quick little eyebrow on the banana. The Rook Quill. My Critical Atom X, which is like my favorite power supply. An ink cup. Some baby wipes. My favorite brand are the Kirkland Baby wipes, all natural, organic, or something. The Pro Touch 0801RL needles from Team Micro International. So it's basically an 801RL. Let's get started. So I'm going to put my machine on 6.8 volts. I have my needle sticking out about a millimeter and a half. Not that long. I'm going to start at the tail and work my way forward. Start at the tail and work my way forward. So what I'm not doing, what I'm not doing No. What I'm doing is a whip shading really fast and long strokes on the border. What that's gonna do, that's gonna keep the perimeter super, super soft, which is exactly what we want. And that's how you're gonna get a really airy eyebrow. So let's dip it again. When you get to like about three quarters of an inch, maybe like a centimeter and a half to two centimeters away from the bulb, you're gonna go really, really, really big whip shading. Uh, the reason being we want these to be really, really soft up front. That's it. Let's do the same thing over here. That's totally fine, FYI. 
So whenever I'm working on the perimeters, I want to make sure that they're going to stay really nice and soft. Again, I'm not trying to get this hard edge like that. That's not what I want at all. But you can see, whenever I do short strokes, I'm going to deposit more color. Short strokes, and then I deposit more color. I don't want that. I don't want to deposit a lot of color. So I'm going to make sure that when I'm overlapping, I keep it really long and really airy. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that all along the perimeter. And I'm going to do that for about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch inside. I would be doing this uh, during my first pass. So take off the numbing and then go ahead and get started. And don't forget when you get to the bulb, really long strokes or really long whip shading. Okay, same thing on this side. all along the perimeter. I highly recommend working on a banana. Just FYI. Don't forget we're going to the head now. Long whip shades. Great, wonderful. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go all along the interior here, and I usually do, I still do whip shading, but I do shorter ones, I don't go as long. because so I'm trying to like um, condense the color a little. And you wanna make sure that you're w working a little bit in this perimeter, okay? Because we're gonna be building this up, this is just the first pass. I haven't diluted my ink at all, and I don't dil really dilute that much at all, unless I'm doing lips, because I don't like a lipstick look. It's just me. Personal taste. little bit onto the edge, back and forth, always moving towards the bulb. I'm not going to wipe it yet because it's my first time doing like a full brow on a banana and I don't want to like diffuse the work that I'm trying to show. So I'm just going to keep layering as I normally would. Okay. So now that we're almost getting to the bulb, I can still kind of do shorter whip shades here. Okay. And now I'm going to do long again. Lovely, okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is concentrate, let me stop this, do more of the, sho the shorter uh, whip shading right along here. The reason that I'm doing that, and of course making it very soft here, the reason that I do that, that's where like um, on a natural brow, that's where a lot of the density, natural density will be. If you do the same saturation of whip shading all over the brow, it's gonna look very flat. 
it's not going to give a lot of texture <laughs> we want to give it something natural as well as for the client making sure that we have all these edges super super soft and that's going to give it that airy kind of feel the moment we start going too heavy along the border and we do this like reciprocating action we're going to get a very hard edge i don't like that you can totally do that with this technique but you're not going to get airy eyebrows and it defeats the purpose um, everything is going to heal super super light on the edges really natural and it's a very wearable eyebrow so let's go ahead and do that little section i was talking about again right along here I guess you would say I'm doing like medium length whip shading, kind of back and forth all along kind of like the bottom and the perimeter. You just kind of want to be mindful you're not going too heavy um, on the edge. And if you have any questions, feel free to write it in the comments. I'm happy to answer if anything's confusing. The first pass usually takes me like, I don't know, five, six minutes. Then I repeat the same thing on the left eyebrow. Numb. Then I go back to the right. Finish the second pass. And remember, go a little bit longer here. Finish the second pass. I want this a little bit fuller, so I'm just going over it a little bit more. Finish the second pass. Do a um, pigment mask. And then for the third, it's not really a full pass at all. It's more just to see uh, I check everything together. I want to do a little bit more here. And I like working in one direction. Okay. So that's the eyebrow. Pretty cool. So I don't want to ruin this, but I'm going to wipe it. So let's see what happens. I'll start a little bit on the tail. Wonderful. And uh, there you go. That's how I do it so quickly. I think it's really easy. I don't know why eyebrows take uh, two hours. All my appointments take less than an hour and a half unless I'm doing brow and lip and that's about a two hour 20 appointment total. I'm going to be working on some videos on um, how to work more efficiently. But if you have any questions, uh, just again, feel free to write it in the comments and um, ask me. I'm here to answer anything that you need. So I hope you like my banana demo. If you need a banana, you can, you can go to your local 7-Eleven, but I don't think they're gonna be organic. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.